the main thing that meteorites tend to have when they're freshly fallen is they have a black outer fusion crust on them, um, which is the melt surface that formed when it came in through the atmosphere. So it's literally, it's melted rock. Uh, but you'll notice that it's about a millimeter thick and what'll happen is on the inside, if you get a broken surface for the rock, it, uh, stony meteorite certainly, and this is most likely a stony meteorite fall of some kind, will tend to look gray on the inside and it will tend to have, you know, almost look like concrete. Um, so the kind of features would be this uh, kind of matte black outer fusion crust, uh, gray on the inside, it might be attractive to a fridge magnet. Um, it doesn't have to be, but that's one of the things that you could possibly try. One other feature that we expect for these freshly fallen meteorites is that they'll stick out and look unusual on the ground because they've literally dropped out of the sky and landed on frozen ground. So they're likely going to be seeming to look out of place. So um, once you do find something like that, uh, the first thing to do is to make sure that when you go to take a look at it, get a picture of it first if you can, if you have a camera, and uh, if you go to pick it up, have some kind of bag on you or some way of picking it up without touching it. And it's helpful to have a bag on you. If you're deliberately going and searching, it's helpful to have a bag in order to put something in. Uh, a nice sterile bag, like a Ziploc bag or something like that, works nice and fine for this. Um, and get into contact with me about what you've found. I'm happy to hear about it.